Hello everyone, this is Fahad Pirza and I welcome you to my channel. I am very excited to share with you this new open source free tool which you can use to parse your PDF, Word, your CSV files, images and you can do OCR with it. This tool Megaparse is quite a versatile tool. The best thing, it is all free, all open source. The only downside is that it doesn't use its local models but I am more than sure that in the future that is also going to be resolved because the tool looks quite promising. One of the major advantage of this tool is that it is quite lightweight and it is quite fast. It is a file parser that has been optimized for LLM ingestion with no loss parse. It can parse PDFs, docx, pptx, csv, images and there are few other file formats it supports. Also, it uses the integration with API-based LLMs like OpenAI, GPT-4O and you can also use Anthropic's Cloud model. It, you can also get it integrated with Llama Parse which is a tool from Llama Cloud of Llama Index which we already have covered it on the channel. And if you really look at it and if you have been following my channel you might have realized that this is one of the major use case of LLMs and Generative AI where people are using these models, these tools to parse the documents quite intelligently. And in that sense, this tool seems quite performant. As I said, it is quite powerful and versatile parser that can handle various types of documents with ease. The primary focus of this tool is on having no information loss during parsing and it is quite speedy. Freedom is beautiful and as I mentioned at the start, it is open source and mega parse really shines through when it comes to free usage. So enough introduction, let me take you and we will get it installed. Though I will be using API based uh, models which is OpenAI, but still I would like to thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So what we are going to do now, we are going to install the mega parse on our local system and then we will parse a PDF file which will be local. So let's get started. Let me take you to my terminal where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. We won't be using it but again courtesy masked compute. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda. Again, this is not mandatory, but highly, highly recommended. And now let's git clone the repo of Megaparse and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Next step, we need to set up the environment with our variables of API keys. So I'm just renaming this .env.example to .env. Let me open it in VS Code and I will show you where to change the API keys. So these are the uh, these are the keys which we need to change. The only key which you can uh, go with the mandatory one is this open as API key. If you are using Anthropic model, you can use your Anthropic underscore API underscore key here. But I'm just going to put this one. You can also use it with Llama Parse, which is a tool from Llama Index, and that we already have covered it on the channel. But it is optional. If you just if you want to use it, you can put that key here too. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe they also have some cloud offering. I'm not sure about that. So I'm not going to set it. So let me set this key, save the file and then go back to the terminal. Okay, so I have set the keys. Let's install Megaparse with simple pip install Megaparse. And that is going to install a lot of things including Torch and even CUDA plus some of the required libraries. And that takes around two to three minutes. So let's wait for it. And Megaparse is installed and if you look at it, it has installed a lot of stuff. Let me scroll up, you see, it has installed like thousands of packages here anyway, but that's good. We don't have to install separately. Now, if you want to do some image or PDF manipulation, you would need to install some other packages. For example, you would need to install this popular package, which is a PDF manipulation library. I'm installing it with Conda. If you don't have Conda, you can simply do pip install python dash popular and that is why I always suggest Conda because it comes 
there are a lot of packages which you can easily install with it anyway let's wait for this poplar to get installed and you can you can just simply press y here and it is going to install all the required stuff that's done next packet we need to install is tesseract and that is only required if you are doing ocr because this tesseract is a quite a famous ocr or optical character recognition engine and again you can see that i am installing it through conda let's wait for it to get installed and that is also done let me launch my jupyter notebook and then we will see how it works in the browser environment so what i'm going to do i'm just going to take this local pdf file from my local system it has some random information about me this is a pdf file as you can see so i am going to parse it with this uh, mega parse and then we will see how it prints it out all the text okay so now let's see this mega parse in action and all you need to do is to run this code in order to get a pdf file passed so all what is happening here is you can see we are importing the mega parse we are also using openai with langchain and then we are instantiating this unstructured parser from mega parse and there are different parsers which you can also check out from their github repo but the code remains the same we are instantiating this parser object we are instantiating this mega parse and then we are loading and parsing this pdf file which is on my local system that i showed you earlier and then we are printing out the response let me run this and there you go you can see that it has perfectly extracted and passed all the data from that pdf file so if you compare this data even slashes are there very very nice even with the spaces so this is quite good very nice i don't see any issues there any missing spellings or all that stuff similarly you can also do the vision stuff let me show you so for the vision one all we need to do is to just specify our gpt4 o model we are getting the um, open ais key from environment and then this time we are using this mega parse vision and i am basically doing ocr so this is my local image which has some english characters some alphanumeric characters special characters and all that stuff we even have some umlauts on this rapida and a few other so let's see um, if it is able to do the ocr with this mega parse vision so let me run it and there you go it has uh, done the ocr but i think it's not as good as i was hoping it is don't get me wrong most of the stuff it has gotten right but you see that it's not perfect there are no umlauts on these rapida rapido so if i show you the image and if you compare it here you will see that there are few uh, other language and special characters are missing but overall it's not bad at all so pretty good stuff i should say and it's a free tool and i'm more than sure it will be improving so i think ocr needs a bit, a bit of an improvement plus it will be really good to have some sort of local models running with it we have a lot of vision models also supported by olama so why not so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching